business model generation is actually a collaboration of work from 470 entrepreneurs, professors, and CEOs from 45 countries. What they were able to do was to break down any business model into the essential nine building blocks that make up any business. One of their pieces of advice is to use visuals to better communicate your business. So to show you what the business model canvas is and how you too can use visuals, let's go through one together. And instead of going through something obscure like a tech business, let's just start with something simple like Sammy's Super Sandwich Shop. So let's say Sammy is tired of eating at fast food joints because of their low quality food. So Sammy decides that this is what he wants to change and to provide people with great tasting organic sandwiches. This is Sammy's value proposition. Next, Sammy has to decide who his customers are. Naturally, organic food is expensive, so Sammy could only cater to people with a lot of money. But Sammy wants to provide organic food to everyone, from successful entrepreneurs to struggling entrepreneurs. By doing this, Sammy has also added to his value proposition. He now also aims to provide a low-cost organic food option as well. In order for Sammy to deliver the value of his super sandwiches, Sammy must decide how and where Sammy's customers will be able to buy his food. In this process, Sammy has to make sure that he is using the proper channels to reach all the customers that he wants to deliver value to. So Sammy may decide to use kiosks to reach everyday people, his own specialty catered shops where he sells his sandwiches for successful entrepreneurs, and maybe he uses supermarkets to deliver pre-made sandwiches to the struggling entrepreneurs. But in order for Sammy to get customers through the doors, he must establish relationships with his customers. Here Sammy could decide to launch a national ad campaign. Afterwards, Sammy may also decide to include some coupons in the local papers to entice new customers to go to his shops. And finally, once Sammy has his customers, he can provide them with a loyalty card where they get one free sandwich after they buy nine. After this comes every startup's favorite part, adding up all the money that you have made through your sales. For Sammy, this includes the revenue made off of his sandwiches and drinks, but it also includes the revenue from apparel sales and even selling little bottles of his secret hot sauce. All this combines into a nice green pile for Sammy. After celebrating how much money Sammy is going to make, it is time for him to focus on his business and how he's actually going to pull it all off. First, Sammy must identify the key resources he's going to need to make it all happen. This will include his store locations, protecting his secret formula, and all the elite chefs at his disposal. After Sammy has identified his key resources, he can move on to his key activities. This would include stuff like his national advertising campaign and creating new delicious sandwiches that all of his customers would enjoy. After Sammy knows how he's going to pull everything off, it's time that he identified his partners. First, he's going to have to establish a partnership with the local farmers so that he doesn't have to invest in starting his own farm. And then, to get the food from the farms to his stores, Sammy is going to have to ship his food. Instead of investing in his own trucks, Sammy can instead hire someone to handle his distribution for him. Since Sammy is in the sandwich business, Sammy will also have to partner with a manufacturer in order to produce the clothing that he will be selling at his stores. After Sammy has figured out everything he needs and everything he has to do, it's time for him to do his least favorite thing, add up all his costs. Here Sammy would include costs like paying for the food itself to the truckers that deliver the food to his stores. Sammy will also include the cost of his national ad campaign, the cost for the clothing, his chef's salaries, and the rent for his stores. After adding all this up, Sammy gets his cost structure. When all is said and done, Sammy will sit down and subtract his costs from his revenues and he will get his profits. And since Sammy's sandwiches have been selling off the shelves, Sammy will be going home with a nice paycheck. But the most important part of Sammy's business model and your business model is that no business can stay afloat for long without profitable customers.